Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I uh, got a quick update. I haven't posted much over the last couple of weeks. There's day trips and sort of thing. Uh, the ute's been broken, as you've probably noticed. Uh, finally got the front drive shafts in and the steering column fixed. So that's all good to go now. I just got to do the center bearing and um, yeah, hopefully the wobble goes away. As uh, I'm sick of doing 90 down the freeway wobbling. Not a fun experience. So uh, hopefully I can sort all that out and uh, yeah, get back out on the tracks again. This weekend I head over to Western Australia. So I'm over there for the weekend. So I think I'm gonna have a couple of hours spare on the Sunday before I fly home. So I'll probably go for a walk around town sort of thing and uh, film a bit. There's a beach over there, so I'll film there. and. Yeah, just try and put a video together for you guys. It's, yeah, it's something different over there. It's, you don't get over there every day, so try and make a short video on that. Um, so after, after I come back from Perth, I head over to, or well, head down, I mean, to Victoria. So I'll be down there for about three weeks. So hopefully I can uh, fit in a, a quick uh, day trip video out of that. And then after that I head up to Queensland. I don't know exactly where I'm going, but I think I'm up near the Bundaberg area. So I saw a video from 4 Drive 24-7 a couple months ago. So there's, I, I don't know what it's called, but there's a beach up near Bundaberg you can drive on. So I'll uh, get a permit for that and uh, let's check that out. Uh, so yeah, I'll be up there for a few weeks. Uh, might, might end up... Um, Either heading out to Kenilworth or whatever it's called, from over that way. And uh, if I don't go there, I might go to Morton Island. So I better pack all my stuff for that just in case. So I head over there for a few days and check it out. I haven't been over there since uh, 2007, I think. So it's been a while. So uh, yeah, I'll, I'll pretty much just have a look around up there. And depending on all this COVID stuff, as to when whether I get up there or not so hopefully I can get up there and I've been up there for 2019 I was up there last so before that I was up there about three four times a year so definitely miss it pretty much as soon as I started filming all this stuff was when COVID come in so I haven't really really been able to film too much up Queensland so I'm keen to get up there and film a bit Something different up there is, yeah, there's heaps of stuff up there I just want to check out and uh, show you guys along the way. So uh, once I get back from uh, Brisbane, I think I head back down to Victoria and uh, yeah, I don't know how long I'm, I'm going to be down there, but hopefully a few weeks. So I'll try and fit in a week long trip up the high country. So I've got to put all that together and uh, start from one spot and just end up on the other side of the, the mountain somewhere and yeah hopefully I can get a few videos out of that so um yeah that that's the trip stuff um probably after that it's probably gonna be oh, three or four months from now so I'll probably um yeah get stuck back into the Triton again and do a bit of proper maintenance with it might do some bearings and uh, brakes and yeah, I'll just get stuck into it sort of thing and repair what I can see and just yeah, keep it going. So um, yeah, that's pretty much all for today. So I'll, I'll end the video there. Um, there was nothing else I wanted to say, I don't think. So um, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, just send them through and I'll get back to you. And I'll uh, see you in the next one. From the videos and stuff of spiderweb. Um, what else have we got? Every time, but it's not windy; it's people. What not? Uh, I would have. Um, I'll just stop the video here for a second. Again. <laughs>